Hola amigos, bien o no, y saludos desde Inglaterra. Hoy es el 11 de noviembre, y en Inglaterra y también en uh, otra parte de Europa, hoy es un día con muy, muy significante porque hoy es el día, de, es un día de recuerdo, el fin de la guerra, especialmente el fin de la guerra, el primera guerra mundial en el año 1918. Especialmente hoy, durante la um, celebración de este uh, recuerdo, en Francia hoy, en París, el primer ministro de um, Inglaterra a visitar y para compartir con el presidente uh, de Francia Juntos en esta celebración. Es la primera vez después del fin de guerra mundial segundo, 1944, que el primer ministro de Inglaterra a visitar a Francia. So hoy yo voy a compartir el poco de esta primera visita en 1944 con el más famoso, con los primeros ministros de la Inglaterra, Winston Churchill, en su libro, su historia de la guerra mundial, y el escribir, página 217, que pasó en este día, noviembre, 11 de noviembre, 44 en París. So, ese es el tema de hoy. So, hello again from England. Um, today I'm going to take us to Paris. Well, not literally, but metaphorically. I'm going to take us to Paris to share with you Winston Churchill's personal recollections of his visit to Paris on this day, the 11th of November 1944, which is a very significant day, um, well, 11th of November particularly, is a very significant day in the French and uh, English Canada because it recognises the end of the First World War, originally 1918, but since that date, that day has always been uh, a very sombre day of um, remembrance for all the people that were lost in the war, and then since then for all other conflicts thereafter. Um, we have special ceremonies here in England and again in France. So today, if you've been watching the news from Europe today, you will probably have seen footage of the President of France with the now Prime Minister of England, uh, Sakir Starmer, on a trip round Paris through the celebrations. And it's noteworthy that today is the first time since 1944 that the British Prime Minister has joined the French President to celebrate this together. But since I happen to have the book, one of a, I think it's a 12 volume set, Churchill's original history of the Second World War, I thought I'd share with you today his account, his recollection of that particular visit in 1944, when he went to join, at the time, the President of France, or General de Gaulle, in the celebrations then. So this is quite an interesting book because it's a lot of his first person recollection of some very important events in history. So I'll read it with you so you get something different to listen to. You might notice a slight difference in tone because obviously this was written back in the 1940s um, and some of the forms of expression might sound a little different but um, see what you think. It was thought fitting that my first visit to Paris should be on Armistice Day and this was publicly announced. There were many reports that collaborators would make attempts on my life and extreme precautions were taken. On the afternoon of November the 10th, I landed at Orly Airfield, where de Gaulle received me with a guard of honour, and we drove together through the outskirts of Paris and into the city itself, until we reached the Quai d'Orsay where my wife and Mary and I were entertained in state. 
The building had long been occupied by the Germans and I was assured I should sleep in the same bed and use the same bathroom as had Goering. Everything was mounted and serviced magnificently and inside the palace it was difficult to believe that my last meeting there, described in a previous volume with Reynolds government and General Gamelin in May 1940, was anything but a bad dream. At 11 o'clock on the morning of November the 11th, de Gaulle conducted me in an open car across the Seine and through the Place de la Concorde with a splendid escort of Garde Republicaine in full uniform with all their breastplates. They were several hundred strong and provided a brilliant spectacle on which the sun shone brightly. The whole of the famous avenue of the Champs-Élysées was crowded with Parisians and lined with troops. Every window was filled with spectators and decorated with flags. We proceeded through wildly cheering multitudes to the Arc de Triomphe, where we both laid wreaths upon the tomb of the unknown warrior. After the ceremony was over, the general and I walked together, followed by a concourse of the leading figures of French public life, for half a mile down the highway I knew so well. When we took our places on a dais, there was a splendid march past of French and British troops. Our guards detachment was magnificent. When this was over, I laid a wreath beneath the statue of Clemenceau, who was much in my thoughts on this moving occasion. So there we go. That's Winston Churchill's account of his visit to Paris. Some, oh, what are we now? Nearly 100 years ago, not quite, no, 80 years ago. Some 80 years ago, um, 1944. And he was the last British Prime Minister to visit France on the 11th of November for that particular commemoration. So there we go. Hope you find this one interesting. It's a different type of reading, admittedly. Um, let me know. Déjame saber en los comentarios, como siempre. But for now, we'll say cheerio.